Hi, this is a heads up video. I finally decided who I want to vote for. Um, 99% of what I want to vote for. <clears throat> this guy. He belongs to a party called the uh, Libertarian Party, which, as you'll hear him and my big fan, my big guy, Bill Weld, who's running as his VP, if you watch them on TV, you'll hear them both describe that the Libertarian Party is basically everything that you like about the Republicans and everything you like about the Democrats all in one party. In other words, it's socially liberal, as Gary would put it, and fiscally conservative. And that's exactly how I am. Okay? The Republicans used to be that way. And then the pro-lifers got a hold of it, and it's gone into the tank ever since. So, this is the guy I want to vote for. Now, the only reason I might not vote for him. The only reason is that uh, one of the provisions in the Libertarian Party is to have hands off, which is good, you know, hands off your wallet, hands off your bed. But they also want to have hands off on all foreign stuff. Okay. Now, Bill Weld hastened to add when he was talking with um, Chuck Todd on uh, Chuck Todd and also Lawrence on uh, The Last Word on M MSNBC. Bill Weld hastened to add that that doesn't mean that they are isolationist. They just don't want us getting involved in nation building. Okay, and I kind of agree with that, but my big concern is I'm, I am pro-Israel. If the U.S. ever takes her hands off helping Israel and being a friend to Israel, we won't be a country anymore. Okay, history proves that even if you didn't believe in the Bible, but the Bible states it flat in Genesis 12, 15, and 17. Anybody cursing Israel gets cursed. History has borne that out. So, I mean, the one place we should be interventionist is whatever Israel needs, we got to be there to help her. Okay, now, people who are anti-Semitic don't like that. Too bad. Now, if the libertarian position is pro-Israel, then for sure this is who I'm voting for. I don't care what the polls say. If the libertarian position is not pro-Israel, then I'm probably going to vote for Hillary Clinton. I just can't, just can't, just can't, will never vote Trump. And as far as I'm concerned, the whole GOP is dead because they back a fraud. Donald Trump is a fraud. And we've been saying that for over a year now, and now, of course, the data proving what we were saying is starting to come out. Donald Trump is a fraud. Gary Johnson's an honest guy. He's plain talking. He, he's up front. He knows how to make a complicated thing simple. Both him and Bill Weld, who I adore with Bill Weld, okay, are really good guys. I would be really proud of them to be in the White House. Anyway, I'm sorry that I said this, but some people are going to ask me who I vote for, and now you know. Vote for whoever you think, before God, you should vote for. Okay, seriously. Vote your conscience, not who you think will win. Peace out.